Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 19 Love Made One here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. I got a viewer who was asking about uh, what would lock the slide back on his handgun and cause him issues like that and I've been trying to explain it to him but I thought what the hell I'll do a video. Um, of course I got the ATI Titan, I got the slide locked open and the camera is actually looking through my new magnifying uh, ot light that I've got. It is a light slash magnifier and yes you can see I can't shave because I'm about I can't keep <laughs> moving in the right direction. But with slide lock back empty magazine in here right in there that's your lug that actually does the uh, work to push up the uh, slide stop to uh, of course stop the slide after the last round is fired. Let me rotate it. Okay. And tilt it. Now if I push it, the follower down, you can see it's got some little bit of shine going on in there. Okay, and you see how that works right here? It would push it up out of the way. Now let's take the magazine out. That is what actually is acting upon okay it works just like that just the very edgy it catches on the edge of that damn lip right there okay so let's put it in the gun now I've got the uh, recoil spring and all out of it um, and of course I got to get the barrel positioned slide in the correct position and snap it right in there Let's move it all the way to the rear. See if we can get the friggin' light on it in there. All right. Insert a magazine in it. You see right there, the magazine follower is pushing up on that lug. Okay? That's what will lock it in place as it comes back forward. See, so watch. As it's pushed forward, and it pushes it right up in there. Now, take a loaded magazine with a cartridge in it. Doesn't matter if it's one or full. And you work it. As you're pushing it back forward, see it stays put. Okay. Now, if you put a loaded magazine in there, and as it's coming back forward, it pushes it up in there then what's happening is either the bullet itself is interfering okay like I said now let's let's show you again okay I know the gun I'll, I'll try to edit this so it's flipped around correctly alright now watch it it's it's right there where it should push it right up in there it doesn't interfere with it it stays put because the magazine follower and that little ledge is pushed down because of the cartridges Again, you take a loaded or an empty magazine and that little ledge right over my thumbnail is where that hole is. That's what's going to act on it. You can see it's down. All right, you push it on in there and what happens is it blocks it right into place. And it's that magazine that's holding it in there. Release the magazine, move it out of the way a little bit, push it back down. It doesn't push back up by itself. See that? But you push that mag in, see? As soon as it touches that right there on that lug, then that's what's pushing it up if it's an empty mag. But if it's a loaded magazine and you insert it, it should not move. If it does move, then the problem is the bullet is striking the lug right inside here. Okay? Right inside there. Now, for clarity's sake, let's pull it back out. A little to the rear. All right, you see how I'm taking it out? That lug right there. Right wow. there is where you'll have a spot. Right there where that shiny spot is, you'll have a copper trail. Okay? See how it's got that little, it's nicked the paint off right there? If you have a copper trail, the color of the bullet, then that's what's causing it. It's pushing up on it, okay? 
this in here i haven't had any interference since because i've i've cleaned that mess off of there i've actually smoothed this one out the same way as i did on the auto ordinance okay and um but that's what you're going to look for a little copper trail right there if putting a loaded magazine in there does that all right you don't want to touch this end right here okay take that off and then the damn thing won't work at all and do its job just right in this area right here okay let me get it to you from a different angle okay this surface right here the slide where it runs in here this sets on the outside of the frame and this lug right here but see now here's the deal if you take too much off during recoil it could bounce up and lock the gun down it's too small So that's the thing. You just take just enough material off that it doesn't interfere with it. And that's all you're doing. Okay? And you take that. You got your line back up. Put it right back in there. Okay, you can see that it's not in its notch. Empty magazine. And watch it now. It's not in a notch. Let me push it on up. See how it pushes it right up in there without even being latched. Okay? Do the same thing with a loaded magazine. It should insert all the way and it stays like it's supposed to. That means the bullets are not interfering with it. If it is with a loaded magazine, then that lug's gonna need to be removed and that's your problem. But anywho, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Kimmo's here. I'm gonna go eat.